Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Reward and Employee Benefits Association New Year Lectures 2016 Disruptors. Quite a mouthful. Before I carry on, um, just some housekeeping about Twitter and, and mobile phones. You all would have been given, or hopefully have seen, the Wi Fi um, log on on the way in. If you missed it, you're looking for RSM wireless, and the password is 514 capital W, capital N, capital I, V, E, R. Now, the reason I'm telling you that is not because today is going to be so dull that you're going to check your emails all day. In fact, I hope you won't be checking your emails today. You'll be so enthralled by our presentations. But what I want is those of you who are, like to tweet, the Twitter people in this room, it would be great if we can get the conversation going on Twitter. So there we have the hashtag is Reba underscore N-Y-L stands for New Year Lectures. Don't do what I did yesterday and put a hyphen in. That doesn't work. So I've tested that. That's a fail. So go for Reba underscore N-Y-L. And if you're not already following Reba on Twitter, maybe today's the opportunity to do so at Reba underscore global. So we seem to be adding about 100 followers a month at the moment. And I'd like to keep that momentum up if we can. That'd be brilliant. <coughs> so about today properly. Oh, skipped ahead. So today is all about thinking fuel, thinking fuel for 2016. We'd like to get some petrol in those cogs in your brain uh, and thinking about what's coming in the year ahead. What we don't want is anything like this. You're being hit by something unexpected, a disruptor you weren't, didn't see off left field. Um, slightly ironic, I've chosen a cricket picture. Those of you who are English cricket fans and can pick up my accent will realise I was not happy with yesterday's score. <laughs> Moving on. Instead, as you leave today, I hope you're going to be feeling like this. Energised, full of ideas, rearing to cope with the year ahead. Now, this is the biggest Reba event that we've held so far. Admittedly, we've only had two. We're only seven months old. We launched in July. But... That does mean there's lots of new faces in this room, and that's fantastic. Welcome to all of you. Really good to have you involved. And I hope this will be the first of many, many Reba events that we've got lined up. Um, you either have been given or will be given a flyer of the events that we've got scheduled for the rest of the year. So you can start popping them in your diary and let us know if you're interested in coming along to those. At Reba, our whole idea is to build a community of reward and employee benefit professionals. So we have a very strong emphasis on networking. And at most of our events, the main thing to do is networking. Today is a bit different. Today is about lectures, a bit more academic. So there's going to be more speakers than we would normally have. But let's try and keep that networking ethos going in the coffee breaks, in the lunch breaks, and this afternoon at tea time. Now, I'm aware when I say networking, probably about half the room are going, Ooh, I hate networking, I hate walking into a room where I don't know anybody. Let's be honest, we all hate walking into a room where you don't know everybody. I'm much happier standing up in front of 200 people speaking than trying to network through a room full of strangers. But some of you, hopefully the other half, don't really mind. You're quite happy to go up to people you don't know and talk to them. So can I ask you, if you do see somebody at tea time and you're a bit more outgoing, gather them into your group, go across, have a chat. Because today is also about meeting new people. Because all of us, whether we're extroverts, introverts, well-networked or not, will probably benefit hugely from today if we can go away with a couple of contacts, maybe even half a dozen contacts, that we know we can phone them in a week's time or drop them an email in a month or so on, because either they've done the same project you're about to do or you're both going to be doing the same project at the same time, whatever it is that builds this community and we all get to know each other a bit better. And in future, you'll know that you've got faces that you'll recognise when you arrive. What we've also done today that we don't normally do at our events, but we've wanted to get all our associate members along. These are the companies that are supporting Reba. Because obviously it takes a little bit of resources to get an association, a professional association, up and running. And I'm very grateful to these, well, now 35. So there's 33 logos on there. And we signed up another two this week who have joined as associate members. So Reward Gateway, I know there's a couple of people from Reward Gateway here, and Westfield are now in the community as well. And it's because of them that we are able to do as much as we've done in such a short period of time. So welcome to all of you, and I hope you find it a valuable day. I'd also
also like to say a thank you to the people who've been helping Phil Hayne and myself make sure that Reba's on the right track. This is our steering committee advisory group. It's people that I either just asked or volunteered just to get a few people together to say, are we doing the right thing? Are we covering the right topics? What could we do better? What should we be doing? What's working well? And on their agenda at some point, they don't know this yet, but the question will be, how should we be running a steering committee in the future? This is just where we started, but we're going to develop that um, on an ongoing basis um, in, in months and, and years to come. So a thank you to all of them. So what have we done so far? We've launched a website. Hopefully most of you will have seen it at some point. Quite simple, quite easy to use, mobile friendly. We've also launched the weekly email alert um, that goes out every Friday. So that goes out to 8,000 people on every Friday. Um, and yeah, always give us feedback of what you'd like to see on that. But so far, we've heard positive things about it. We have also launched our first piece of research, which you were all given this morning, a printed copy of the Benefit Shifts um, research that we did in conjunction with JLT. Now, this is looking at what are you saying that you're going to be spending more on this year? What are you going to spend less on this year? What are your priorities this year? What's on the up? What's on the down? What are the benefits that are going to change in the future? Because we asked for some of the long-term predictions. So very future-facing. Some things you might look at and go, yeah, I knew that but now you've got the data to validate it. Other things might surprise you, and now you can bear that in mind when doing your reward strategies. We've got our next piece of research coming out in about a month's time, and that is on employee wellness strategies. What are employers offering? What are they planning to offer? What's the state of the nation in, in wellness strategies? And we're doing that with Panta Southall um, Health and Protection, so look out for that one. We've also been uh, asking practitioners, REBA members, to write for us. And these are some of the people that have written. Yesterday, I put, I put one up by Sally Pobrick as well, who kindly wrote all about pay reviews and how employees see the reward director at pay review time. So I'm looking for more people who prepare to share from the coalface. You do these jobs every day. Perhaps you've got some in-depth technical knowledge. Maybe you've got some top tip tips. Maybe you just want to share a bit of what it feels like to do your job. Maybe you've got a case study you'd like to share with us. If so, on the feedback form in your packs, if you wouldn't mind ticking that box at some point today to say, yes, I am happy to write for you, and we'll get back in touch. Somewhere in the audience is Anna Scott. Anna is, there she is over there. Um, Anna is, I've appointed, she's um, former people management um, edit, uh, features editor, and she's now working as editor for us to collate all the member articles, the people, articles from practitioners. So if you're thinking, oh, I might want to do that, do have a chat, catch her in the tea break, have a chat to her. Um, otherwise, I'll be passing the names to her in the next few days once they all come in. And don't worry if you're not a great writer. <coughs> um, that's Anna's job to get that right. What you've got is, is in here, and that's what we'd like to tap into. So that's enough about Reba for the moment. Um, let's move on to today and, and what, what to expect. So firstly, we've got seven sponsors. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Barnett Waddingham, Hyman's Robertson, Lane Clark and Peacock, Neighbour, Personal Group, Wealth at Work and Work Angel. It's because of them that we're all able to be here today. And we really appreciate that. They're our co-hosts for the event today. You'll be hearing each one of them speak on a specific topic during the day today, a thought leadership topic. Um, those of you who are REBA members, um, you'll be able to sit at a round table with them at lunchtime, at seated um, round tables, and be hosted by the co-hosts. But I'd ask everybody in the room, if you have an opportunity to go and have a chat to our sponsors, please do. Um, uh, they'll also be making an effort to get around the room and, and speak to as many people as possible. All their photographs and all their biogs are in the pack as well, so you can see exactly who they are. So, on to the first session. This morning, we're very much looking forward what's happening in 2016. So we're going to start off with a rewards roadmap for 2016. In what direction are we heading? And our first speaker is John Chilman, who's the group, group reward and pensions director at First Group. Now, I've known John for many, many years, probably too many to count. And he's one of the founding members of REBA. And it's not easy to get John out to speak these days. He's such a busy man. So I'm really privileged that we've got John. I call John up to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> 